Today's Twin Cities Live introduces you to a school-aged child right here in Minnesota in need of an adopting family. Over the last three and a half years, our Kid Connection series has helped place <laughs> and adopt more than 30 children, Steve. That's 30 lives Amazing. and families changed. And because each child's story is different, new adoptive parents will need help giving a child, often with a difficult past, a new beginning. It's why MinAdopt has special programs in place. Here to explain, we welcome MinAdopt's post-adoption navigator, Ooh. Hannah Burton, to the show. That's a great title, Hannah. Navigator. Yeah. That sounds that. so cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so what's happening? Because after a child is adopted into a family, you know, you kind of get this, like, rosy picture of rainbows of, like, here we are, we're all holding hands, we're together. Right. And the reality is that, like in any family, Life sets in. Yeah, those transitions can be difficult. So what are you there to help with? Yeah, it, that's exactly right. We know that every family uh, needs ongoing support, and we really want to try to do our best to connect families to a network of support, even after they've finalized an adoption, um, just so that they um, are prepared and are equipped with what they need mm -hmm. um, when a challenge might arise. And is this... Is this picking up the phone? Is this, I mean, what does that, that look like? Because I would imagine it can't be too many days go by that suddenly the adopting family thinks, oh goodness, and then that first moment of, I need a little assistance here comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so families can um, contact us by phone or email. Um, for the Post Option Navigator program, um, I'm actually proactively reaching out to families. Oh, that's great. Um, to really try to get ahead of that Boy, before they would smart. be making that phone call um, themselves. So we're trying to, you know, really address this from a, every every part of the adoption process so that we can try to reach families at, at any point. I'm so. curious about that, too, because um, since you are a Post Adoption Navigator, it's known as Pan on the streets, <laughs> uh, since, you, since you are that, uh, when you call these families and you reach out proactively, what's a common concern that you hear from adoptive families? Yeah, you know, um, a lot of families, like you mentioned, are pretty much in their honeymoon phase after yeah. the finalization part. Yeah, so they're right. really just interested in learning about what's out there. Is it support groups? Um, what are the ways that I can connect with other parents who have adopted? What's available for my child? Um, and so they're really just curious at this point. Um, with our help program and our help specialists, a lot of families are reaching out um, with maybe some more questions that are a little bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. um, so they're really there to help uh, tailor resources and referrals to meet the family's specific needs. A lot of these kids I can imagine because they don't understand family as a permanent thing. They think of family as being really mm -hmm. conditional because that yeah. ha has been in their past. What we've learned about a lot of these kids is that has been their experience. So are there times when some of these kids are maybe pushing the boundaries a little bit saying, will you really love me if this, are you really going to be there? Because I right. would imagine that's a bit of a defense mechanism. Oh yeah. Yeah. Some behavioral um, challenges come up and we know that that's a manifestation of a lot of things going on, maybe mm -hmm. with grief and loss, mm -hmm. um, trauma, attachment. And so our uh, adoption, uh, our uh, help specialists are really um, specialized in adoption and understand that and can help tailor resources to really support the family. That's great. Before you go, tell us about uh, MinAdopt's education program and what do you guys really focus on with that? Yeah, our education program has really grown. We've like doubled the amount of workshops that we're offering. Um, we do both in person and live webinars. We can um, also uh, provide recorded webinars on our website. You can find all that at minadopt.org. And this is for folks who are considering adopting? Um, really across the adoption journey. So families who are, are considering adoption and haven't really even dabbled in anything yet, sure. all the way to post-adoption. So families who just want to understand more about what's, what's happening in my family right now, what's going sure. on for my child, how can I learn more about that? So I would just say check out all the workshops that are available on our website. There's a ton of new stuff there every month. And I love seeing that what I think has been so special has been to, to see the families that Kelly has shown us that have adopted, mm -hmm. that it's not always a mom and a dad with a dog and a right. cat, right? I mean, yeah. family can look like different things. That Absolutely. if you feel like you might have room in your heart and in your home for a school-aged child, just because you don't look like the traditional family doesn't mean that it's not an option for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. That's so true, and that's an important message. They're looking yeah. for consistent love. Yeah. Figure out what that looks like. That's what they want. Oh, gosh, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thanks Thank for you. all you Thank do. You. Give that. everybody at Minadot big hugs for yes, us. And uh, we look forward to featuring more children and helping get them connected with those forever we homes. We yeah. love this. Uh, to learn more about all of Minadopt services before and after adoption, including how to become a foster parent, you can head to TwinCitiesLive.com. If you are